Who's the biggest loser your son daughter has dated? My little sister dated a guy who kept trying to convince her to drop out of a UC school and move into his mom's garage with him. Up to and including threatening suicide if she didn't. It took way too much effort on my dad and my part to get her to put the kibosh on that relationship. Mostly because the guy's mom thought my sister was good for him and tried to fight us on it. Lord. My sister dated them all. My favorite was a guy who convinced her to have joint bank accounts and stole 6 months worth of pay from her. We didn't know until after the relationship. The dude was a major con man salesman type that had like 4 different get rich quick schemes while they dated. Edit. While nothing compared to some of the stories here it doesn't feel great to see my daughter move in with a high school dropout and take a break from college. I'm expecting any day now to hear that her savings that was supposed to be for college will be going to pay off his debt. My really quite intelligent daughter once dated a lad who didn't know the difference between the sun and the moon. Not joking. Edit. To clarify slightly. Ages. My daughter was 18 and the lad was 20. He thought the moon glowed because it was the same as the sun. I.e. a ball of nuclear fire. Although I imagine he knew it wasn't as hot. He had no idea at all that the moon was reflecting light. He came from a family of people who saw very little point in education. His mother had never worked. None of his family worked. He didn't work. He was actually a nice lad. But difficult to converse with due to his very low level of education. Not my kid. But my brother. He dated this crazy possessive chick who once buried one of his shirts because another girl complimented him on it in front of her. She also totaled his car after lying and saying she had gotten her license back. She gave $400 to a fake iPhone scammer website Western Union because they are a legit company. I saw pictures of their warehouse and everything. I googled warehouse. The picture on their site was the first one that came up. She even paid $100 more to expedite through customs when the delivery didn't arrive when expected. And the Paisetia registered sign insistence she killed his dog. She left at 7pm on the coffee table and he chewed up the bottle. By some miracle no pills got out and crisis averted. It was explained to her that the pills would be fatal to the dog. She bought another bottle and left it on the coffee table again this time dog ate half the bottle and his kidneys failed. Sucks because he was the sweetest smartest dog I've ever known. TLDR. Obligatory not a son or daughter scenario. But my older brother dated a girl who pretended that she broke all of her bones in a car wreck. She put both of her arms in slings. Put braces on her legs. And a travel pillow around her neck. I remember her asking her about her back, if all of her bones were broken anyway, and she started to cry. Lol they didn't last long. Brother's girlfriend hit my English bulldog with a shovel because he was barking and it scared her, as she showed up unexpectedly at my parents house around 1am. He is still with her because she's lonely and has no friends or family. Maybe because she's a psychotic bitch. My sister dated a guy who lied about being a navy seal. Apparently there is like a whole community of people who do that. Just go around unemployed living on. Telling their souls when they disappear 4 weeks at a time that they were deployed. It never made any sense to us. And she broke up with him for other reasons and gets really pissed off if anyone mentions the relationship happened. He was a creepy dude who took advantage of her trusting nature and that she was at a low point in her life. And I regret not doing more to call him out on his obvious bullshit. He's still in the area doing god knows what. Probably trotting out the same crap to new women. I hope one day he gets his ass beat by a real navy seal. My sister is dating a guy who is an asshole to everyone he meets. But cries when you give it right back to him. He is also an enabler to her depression and anxiety. Instead of trying to encourage her to fix herself. He tells her that she doesn't need to and he will do it for her. Instead of trying to fix herself. He'll do it is really dangerous and feels manipulative. Having her rely on him ends up going bad. My husband's cousin was married to a man who cheated on her for months. And then moved his mistress into their home and tried to convince his wife that they could all be lovers together. 
He also got into the illegal pot dealing game after Colorado legalized weed. My sister is married to a guy who has two swastikas tattooed on his back. Nuff said. Edit. He got them while in prison when he joined the Aryan Brotherhood. He definitely isn't Buddhist. My brother is currently dating and engaged to one of the worst people I've ever met. She is manipulative and controlling. He likes to dish tty. Mean things. And when confronted will act completely innocent and play the victim. And she has on several occasions made up stories and lied for the sole purpose of causing chaos. She almost destroyed my other brother's marriage, his wife is her best friend, and has all but ruined my brother's relationship with our mom and other sister. I really think she is entertained by the misery she causes. The best part of all of it? They are getting married in 11 days. She says it was the guy that was a drug runner. I obviously didn't know about this and am only being told because he's long gone from her life. It'll be back to find my judgmental ex's parents. My sister dated this doucher bag. He lived in a house his dad owned and she moved in with him. He stayed at home slinging cocaine. She held respectable jobs. He was a general shfed. Stole drugs from his mom and such. They bought a shtty fire bad together with her money. But he titled it in his name. When she finally left him. My father and I drove the fire bad and parked it in our garage. Covered all the windows looking in. He would call us every day and rant to us how he was going to call the cops and or kick our ass. After telling a sob story to the DMV. We ended up getting this saint of a supervisor who transferred the title to my sister's name. So she could sell the heap of junk and recoup some of her money. An ex stabbed me in the thigh with an Zacto blade once. Full blade in the thigh. I could see my muscles working. And had to pick out the panned fibers. Wanna know why he stabbed me in the thigh? Well I have two toes on each foot that are webbed. He wanted me to let him cut those instead. That is psycho behavior. Glad he is an ex. Funny enough every father of any girl I have ever dated thinks I am a loser. It usually starts with something along the lines of I don't like your name. And usually goes downhill from there. I'm not sure I'd want my daughter dating someone named the window licker either. How many other guys came here to see if any of the descriptions sound like them? Not me. That's for sure. My best friend dated the worst man on earth. Classic mental gaslighting abuser type. Never made her feel pretty or good. Always compared her to other girls. Told her she wasn't beautiful. SY. Feminine. Or attractive to him. Keep in mind she is an attractive. Perfect bodied type. Who is also kind. Funny. Hard working. Etc. Most would consider a catch. He cut her family out. Tried to convince her her friends were trash to cut us out. If we went out to a bar. He'd be dancing with chatting up other women all night while she sat alone. The kicker though. During her chemotherapy treatments he criticized her about not keeping up with house cleaning. Cooking. And for not plowing him enough. While she was literally fighting death. Sick as a dog vomiting. This pose is wondering when he's gonna get oral. She lost nearly all her friends because of her resistance to any advice to get away. Happy ending. She's married to a different and very good man now. Q. One of my friends brought her new boyfriend to our weekly church youth group meetup. He openly bragged about how he could manipulate anyone into doing whatever he wanted and tried to dominate all of the other guys in the room by proving how much smarter, stronger, more athletic he was. She pulled the plug pretty quickly. I dated a lot of stupid. Just plain dumb guys in high school. One of the worst mistakes was my boyfriend's sophomore year told me he had lung cancer because he's been smoking cigarettes since he was 8. He wrote me like this weird journal letter about it. I didn't believe him for a second. But continued dating him for another month or so. Blake we took him into our home for a few months. So he could save up some money. Our internet bill went through the roof. I think he played video games. Then one day, Independence Day, he dumped her. 
all while his clan from Texas was camping in our yard on the way to a music festival. I guess I should have keyed in when he mentioned he had moved multiple times. I hate when people use up all the internet. My daughter is 12. You have all given me a really shtty outlook on the next several years. Damn it. Edit. Thanks everyone for the advice. My dad doesn't read it but my parents hated my ex. We met when we were 16 and were on and off for 4 years. He constantly cheated on me and was just a shitty person. I ended up pregnant at 18 and I worked through most of pregnancy. While he didn't do shitty. I got him a job but he didn't keep it. I broke up with him when my daughter was 8 months old. About 5 months after my mom passed away. He hasn't been in mine or my daughter's life for about 4 years. His loss. She's amazing. Girlfriend's daughter hooks up with this dude who claimed he was a seal and talked all kinds of shti. I let this guy go off for hours about how bad he was and all the black ops he was part of. He was laying it on thick and I let him keep talking. About 2 John Wayne hero stories later I said show me your trident tattoo. He looked at me and said it was concealed. I asked him what ordinance did he pack when on a mission? No answer. Then asked where did he take his bud class in Florida or Oregon? He says Florida. I tell him he is full of shti. 10 minutes later he's gone and I catch hell and grief from daughter and girlfriend for chasing the dude away. But he was a seal. He was going to show her all his medals and awards. I still chuckle about this. I don't know if I'm allowed to say names but my sister is married to Google this, guy who kidnapped and up had two girls at Utsa. They got together when she was 13 and he was 27-ish. Mom tried to get him arrested but cops wouldn't do shti even though they admitted to having sx and mom wanted to press charges. Not my daughter son. But my mom. After my dad's death she has been alone for almost 15 years. With my brother we encourage her to go back to dating. But she would never stay long with anyone. At some point she's met a new guy. That was actually serious about her and everyone was happy for a while. After some time guy showed how manipulative of a douche he can be. He hated that she was surrounded by family and had people supporting her. He would spread lies and rumors about the rest of my family just to have her for himself. Interventions had no effect. Now thanks to him she's no longer talking to her twin sister. Mother and the rest of the family simply avoids her just not to have contact with him. He made her choose multiple times between her children and him and actually broke their engagement three times. They would have a break for a while but she's always coming back to him. I honestly never hated anyone so much in my life as this guy and it breaks my heart how blindly she follows him. I like threads like these for giving me perspective. Not that they are an excuse to be a lazy slob. But to prevent myself from doing irrational things like internally calling myself a lazy slob because I don't have the discipline to do a PhD. My wife's brother married this terribly manipulative woman who regularly reported him for DV and assault. Though this never happened. Had him discharged from the military for these wrongful accusations. And the worst emo was that she murdered his dog. Luckily he got out of there and is happily married with three dogs now. Sadly my son is the loser that other people's daughters date. Mum get off reddit wtf. Newsflash. Your child might be the loser. My cousin's ex-husband lost a security job for being racist. Was kicked out of the army, not clear why but he was going on about not making weight. Got a DUI. Then got arrested for having sx with a 17 year old at a school he worked at as an orderly. A school for special needs kids. Thank god she finally divorced him. Our daughter dated the same guy all through high school. Nice guy but unmotivated. Ate most dinners with us. Bummed off her all the time. She broke up with him when she went away to college. I was kind of relieved. He did nothing the year after high school and then finally got a flunky delivery job at a dental lab. After a year or so he started helping make dentures. Seems as though he had a natural talent. By the time our daughter graduated he had purchased the lab from the owner who retired. By the second year as owner he had made his first million. Our daughter sells t-shirts. 
guess he wasn't the loser. More like the one that got away. Sadly it's always been me who is the loser. Dating girls so I wasn't alone and manipulating them to keep them from figuring out I was a piece of shti and they could easily do better. It took getting diagnosed with depression and getting on meds and therapy to see how f up I was. When I started dating the current girl I'm with I told her. Her best friend and her mom how I used to be and asked them to call me out if they see me doing it again. So much it is habit that I don't even know what's unhealthy until I'm told. Also my parents never gave me a good example or a healthy relationship so I'm figuring it out as I go how. Daughter dated a guy who worked for the Hillary campaign. Had one of those spoiler. Hillary wins shirts and 35 campaign buttons and constantly talked shti to everyone. He was super confident they would win. Being up polls and stuff. Long story short. They broke up shortly after he joined the reassistance post elections. He tried to make her join and she got sick of his delusional loser lifestyle. He basically had a nervous breakdown after the elections. Spoiler alert. She voted for Trump but lied to him that she was voting for Hillary lol. Papa couldn't be prouder. I once dated a girl who ate her peas with a fork. One at a time. I still shut her when I think about her. I mean. What would the kids have been like? We'll call him John. He currently lives with his brother and best friend. Three guys. An house. And she somehow convinced him to let her move in too. Ah but not just her. She also brought along her zoo. I don't mean a few cats and dogs. I mean two adult cats. A kitten. Multiple tarantulas. One or two rabbits and I think a few birds too. There's too many to remember tbh. She was having him drive her to and from work every day. Surprise. She works at a pet store. Comma he got tired of it so what does he do? Buys her a car with his own money. I think this is his first relationship in a while and I can't help but think. Damn she's good. She knows exactly what she is doing. Has him wrapped around her finger. His relationship with his brother is strained because her and him do not get along. And he hates living in a house with her and all her animals without having any say in it. She's just... My oldest brother used to be married to a horrible person. She was fine when they were dating. Fine for the first two years. Then she gave birth to my nephew and all good things about her disappeared. She cheated on my brother. She ignored her son. She stole money from my brother so he couldn't go to trade school. She threw their Shiba Inu off a 11 story balcony because the apartment was too small for both a baby and energetic dog. She told everyone he jumped. The ignoring her son turned into a way to hurt my brother. She left an exacto knife out and my nephew stepped on it and she ignored him while he bled and cried. She gave him food poisoning and made sure they were always broke. I could go on but you get the drift. My friend dated a guy who was severely overweight and depressed. He's now a trainer at a gym and they have a really healthy happy family. Oh boy oh boy would my father have some things to say about this if he were on reddit. Till that there are apparently a lot of people impersonating navy seals. This thread in a nutshell. Men. Weird stoner pedophile dudes. Women. Also con artists and lazy mofos who haven't worked in years. My 18 year old sister dated a 40 year old former heroin junkie with HIV. Turns out he was my best friend's dad's friend from childhood. They lived across the street. Two years later she bailed and fortunately never contracted. My daughter is dating a guy who thinks Fortnite is better than PUBG. My daughter is only in 6th grade and last year her boyfriend brought a B. B. Gun to school in his backpack and showed a bunch of kids and got expelled. Just scrolling through to see if any of my ex's parents wrote about me. Probably me. Edit. Oh god I didn't read the title correctly. Not a father. I'm always surprised when I'm reminded they got the internet in Alabama.